Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to be doing a foundation declutter. I have a lot of foundations. I'm not like one of those people that buys like a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of makeup, but I would say for like a normal person, I have a lot of foundations. And some of them literally have just, they're just wasting space inside of my makeup drawer because I literally don't even use them because I didn't like them at all. And then some of them are like amazing. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decluttering a lot of these things. I'll show you guys the different foundations. I'll let you guys know what I was thinking about them. And yeah, if you guys wanna see me declutter foundations and tell you guys a few little thoughts, let's get right into it. just for a disclaimer for you guys to know I do have very normal skin right now in the summer my skin tends to go a little bit more oily it's not like oily oily it's like normal to oily and then in the in the winter time it starts getting a little bit normal to dry so I'm definitely like one of those people that's like stuck in the middle and it depends on the season I have some on top of my table here and then I have some in my drawer I think I'm just gonna take this whole thing out I'm just gonna put this right back here and you guys can stare at it while I show you guys. I'm not facing you while I'm talking, huh? My hair looks like a disaster. I'm super sorry, but... <sighs> so let's go ahead and let's get into this. Some of, some of these things that I have sitting here are primers, so I'm not gonna talk about the primers, obviously, but let's go ahead and get into the first one. Okay, so number one. So this one right here is the Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. This is a good foundation. You guys can see that I have loved on it. Look how much is left in there. I literally have gone down to almost a little bit more than half of this foundation because when I first purchased this, I was using this nonstop. I am definitely not going to be decluttering this because I do use it a lot. It does have its issues. This is not a saint of a foundation. It has issues. Some It doesn't like to mesh well with some concealers. And I do know some people with dry skin have said that it doesn't sit well on their skin. On me personally, it works pretty damn good. It's a very lightweight foundation. I enjoy it. It's pretty good. I love the color match too. It matches me really really good So that one is definitely keeping this one here. <laughs> this is the Milani 2-in-1 conceal foundation This foundation I saw Jaclyn Hill talk about it and I was so excited because it's a drugstore foundation And I went out and bought it. I bought it in light beige 03 The color actually doesn't match me that bad even though the color range in this is terrible Like there's hardly any colors and I was really excited about this foundation, but, and it looks really pretty. Like if I film with this foundation, you guys will be like, wow, that looks so beautiful. But this thing breaks me out. Like it, like literally the next day I will have a pimple. So for that reason, this guy needs to go. Um, I definitely should be decluttering this. I don't know if I will actually use it to even film just because I'm scared of even touching this foundation because I know it breaks me out. So this one, this one should go bye-bye. So I think I'm gonna declutter it though. This is the Dior Skin Forever. I really do love this foundation. When I first bought this, this was like my favorite foundation. I was like so excited about this foundation. I loved it so, so, so much. Now, now that I have a few other foundations, it's kind of like gone down in the totem pole and I will do a best and worst foundations for you guys so that you guys can see like my order of love. But anyways, this foundation has been really good for me. I do think it has more of a matte looking finish to it. So because of that, sometimes it looks a little bit cakier and it's a little bit of a full coverage foundation. I do love it. The shade match is a tad bit off. It needs a little bit more yellow but that was my fault I bought the wrong color but I do like it and I still think it looks good sometimes what I'll do is I'll mix a little bit of a more yellow toned foundation in with it so that it kind of matches better but I'm definitely keeping so, that. This one here is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. This foundation here is not a bad foundation. It's actually pretty good. The only thing is I will say like is it the most beautiful amazing foundation out of all my foundations? No. But is it a good foundation? Yes. Is the shade match perfect on me? No, it's a little bit light. I feel like on this one too, I bought a little bit too light, but I can still wear it. I do like this foundation a lot. It's not something that I would get rid of. Is it on my top, top, top foundation list? No, but it's definitely good. I'm keeping that one. Okay, so this one here from Physicians Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Now, I like this foundation. I just feel like I have a lot of other foundations that I like more than this foundation. Like to wear every single day, I see myself not gravitating to this one. It doesn't have a bad finish. I love the casing of it, but I just don't gravitate to this one as much as some of the other ones, but it's not a bad foundation. And I feel like because it's such a good price point, I should probably keep it for filming. But like for every day, I probably wouldn't reach for this one as much. Probably gonna keep this one just for filming, but like like I said before, it's not something that I use that often, but I'll keep it for filming. Otherwise, I probably would have decluttered it. 
Okay, so this one, oh, I love this guy. So this is a Dior Backstage Foundation. This guy's great. I love this foundation. The color match is good. It's a little bit yellow. Like, it's like not the perfect yellow tone. This is like one of those that the yellow was a little too yellow. But at the same time, it still looks really pretty on my skin. When I blend it out, it does look really good. So it's not like it's too off you know like it's just the undertone is a little off but it's absolutely stunning i love this foundation it looks lightweight it doesn't look cakey i love it it is not going nowhere oh this guy sucks so i bought this foundation and when i first put it on i was like oh it's moussey it's nice it looked pretty on my skin and after filming i wore this thing and it literally smeared everywhere like i was like in so so much hatred towards it. I hated you so much like I I was so mad at it because I looked terrible and it was its fault like it just didn't sit well on my skin it smeared everywhere I didn't like it at all and I was so hyped about this and I spent a lot of money on this this was not a cheap foundation for being drugstore like I was like ooh that's a little pricey and it even comes in a plastic squeezy tube so it must be an amazing formula and when you put it on your face you actually do feel that way you're like wow it's so moussey and it kind of feels like the tart amazonian clay and you're so excited it sucks goodbye oh my gosh this is my love i love this this is the all hours foundation from ysl this guy's going nowhere because i love it too much i love this foundation so much no 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 you are staying in my collection there's not enough good things i could say about it i really do love it Ooh, look at this guy oh this is so old ah! This is the La Paris Skin Caviar. This is one of my most expensive foundations. And if you guys ever saw my review on this, I literally used to wear only this foundation. When I started breaking out with acne, when I was in college, I was probably like a freshman in college and I don't know what happened. My skin changed on me and I started getting like cystic acne and I couldn't wear any foundations. This is the only foundation that I would wear that would not break me out and I could literally wear it like nonstop. I wore La Paris Skin Caviar, this same foundation, for years and years and years. Now, just a few years ago, they changed the foundation on me and it became even more expensive. It went from being like a $180 foundation to being like a $220 foundation. Something like that. My numbers could be off, but it went from like the hundreds to the 200s. And I went, what? Like, this is the same foundation. And I don't even really use the concealer on this one. I used it all up just because I had to. But I love this foundation. I love it so much. There's really like nothing left in there. Like literally, I think I used the whole thing. Um, you can definitely see the bottom. But yeah, this guy needs to be decluttered because it's old and... I would love to buy another one of these, to be honest, because I really do love that guy and I fight myself to buy another one. I just wish that they would sell like refills of it or something or cheaper version that you don't have to get like the concealer part because I don't use the concealer. I would love to just buy the foundation and pay like 50 bucks. 200 200 dollars hi guys so this one here is from bare minerals so this is their fresh face liquid foundation it's the made to fit and they actually made this one for me it's the made to fit for christina i actually got this one through influencer they sent this for me for a review and i actually really like the formula of this foundation it's just too light and when i first put it on i was very fair back then and it didn't not match me it was a little bit on the light side and i feel like what happened was it matched me too good like you were supposed to take a picture of like this part of your skin and like you can already see that's a huge difference from my face and my neck so when i took a picture of this it gave me that color and the match is perfect to the color of where they told me to match but i'm too tan so this one doesn't really work for me unless it's like in the middle of the winter but i do like the formula of this guy i just don't see myself reaching for it i love that it says made to fit for christina so so I just like the casing of it, but definitely this needs to be decluttered because I'm never gonna wear it. Oh God, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Okay, so this is from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Total Cover Foundation. I bought this in the drugstore. I saw a few people talking about this foundation and I was like, ooh, I need that. Yes, I finally gonna find a drugstore foundation that I'm going to love. I was so excited. No 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 this looks so cakey it is full cover it does cover really good but it just looks so cakey and drying on my skin that i was like ew i didn't like this guy at all i feel like there's another version that people like even more and then i was wondering if i bought the wrong one and other people were liking the dewy one it comes like in a blue container this one's no good i don't like that i know i know what's gonna happen here some of you guys are going to just say how dare you because this is a hol holy grail to a lot of people 
the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I need to get rid of this guy. I am so sorry. I do think the formula is really good and I agree with a lot of people when I put it on I do feel like it looks really good but this thing smells. Ugh. It has the worst smell like oh my god I can't even remember. What did it smell like? Ugh, it smells like paint thinner. That's what it smells like. It smells like paint thinner. And I honestly cannot take this smell. When I put this on my face, I feel like, what am I putting on my face? Why do I feel like I'm just putting paint on my face? I don't like the smell of this. It just gives me the heebie-jeebies of what the heck I'm putting on my face. Like, I'm like, ugh. So because of that, I'm going to declutter this guy. I also bought the wrong color. I bought Nude Ivory, which is like super white. I put this on in a video that I did like this really cool red eye look and I look like a ghost with red eyes. Goodbye. Okay. Elf. Hi, Elf. Okay, so this is from Elf. Okay, so this foundation from Elf. Now, I have a love-hate relationship with this one. I like the way this one looks on the skin. I like that it looks dewy. The only problem is, is after a few hours, you look like a grease ball. It also breaks up like crazy. The problem that I have with it is it does look really pretty on the skin, so I feel like I could keep it for filming, but I feel like I should dump it for everything else. So this one definitely should be a declutter. I may keep it just to film with, but I don't like it. Oh my gosh, I love I love this foundation. Oh my God. I'm like, I've been looking for a cheap drugstore foundation forever. And I would say, I guess I'm a little bit of a foundation snob just because I feel like this is something that you put all over your face. It's something you leave on for hours and it could clog your pores. You could be putting bad stuff on your face. It could be too thick. Like it could just be really bad for your face. It could cause you acne and irritations. I mean, like there's so much stuff that foundation can do to you that I'm just like a snob for it. But this guy, so good. This is from Flower Beauty. This is the Light Illusion Foundation. This is such a good drugstore foundation. It is not the light, like it's not like super inexpensive for being drugstore, but I love this so much. You can find it at Ulta. I think it's great. I love it. It's lightweight. It is loomy. It's beautiful. I love it. Like I say, I like to wear luminous foundations. Okay, so let's jump into this. This is the It Cosmetic CC Cream, and this is the Illuminizing version. This to me is one of those foundations that you wear to the beach. This is a foundation that I wear like when I don't really want to wear foundation. What I love about it is it kind of gives you like a glowy look. People have said that you could see like the micro glitters in here. I personally don't see too much glitter in it. I just feel like you look a little loomy. I love the way it looks. I think it looks beautiful, especially for when you want to look like you're glowing. I love this. I love this for those days and I don't really actually wear this one like an everyday foundation anymore. I wear it more when I don't want to wear makeup or when I'm going somewhere that I just want to look radiant. Usually beaches, um, parties that were going to be outside, stuff like that I love this one for. So I'm not going to declutter that because I love it. Now I don't like the way it looks on camera. It's not like the best camera foundation, but it is a great like just everyday type of foundation. Okay. So this little guy here, this is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. This is a great foundation. I love the way this foundation looks on my skin. I think it sits beautiful. It doesn't break me out. It's lightweight, but it's full coverage. It has a perfect shade match to my skin tone. I have a yellow undertone, it's sometimes difficult to find because yellow undertones could either be very yellow or they could be like gold, you know? This was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade match. I love this foundation. Once they come out with more shades of it, because I do keep reading that they are going to be coming out with more shades of this, I think this is going to be a non-stop seller. The only problem is this dish here, I knew this was going to happen. I'm not cleaning it. I need to clean this and I'm just not using it lately because I remember I didn't clean that and I don't want to put bacteria on my face. So you have to be careful with that. If you guys are using it, just clean it. This is actually a tinted moisturizer and this is from Laura Mercier. So I just finished getting this in Influencer box and I like this guy. I like this guy a lot. I like the way it looks. This is definitely my first real tinted moisturizer. I bought one a long time ago that that was decluttered a long time ago and it was terrible and it was from the drugstore and it was a BB cream. Ugh, that thing was terrible. I can't remember the brand but it was bad. This is really good. I really like the way it looks. It definitely has the SPF of 20 in it. When you put it on, you kind of feel like you're putting a little bit of a white cast on and you're kind of like weirded out. It's a little thicker of a formula. But once it's blended out on your face, I feel like it actually does give you a pretty good 
Don't try to put too much of this on your face though. This is definitely something that you just put a little bit on and rub it in and it looks great. If you try to cake this on because you want coverage, it doesn't work. For that, you just get a foundation. So I really do like this guy, I'm keeping that. So that is all my foundations that I have in front of me. And hopefully I didn't leave any out, but that's all I have in front of me. So I don't think I did that bad. I decluttered a few, right guys? I, I think it wasn't horrible. I mean, my eyeshadow declutter was terrible. This one was at least a little bit better. So anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give me your likes. Leave me your comments below. Don't forget, if you have not done so already, to hit the subscribe button so you can be part of the Glam Ranch family. I will be filming for you guys my top favorite foundations and also the ones that are not that great before I get rid of some of these things. I'll get into a little bit more detail of the reasonings why. So yeah, that'll be coming very soon. But thank you guys so much for watching and and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.